Hello guys, it's your girl Onana and this is Onana Nation. So if you're new here, a very special welcome to you. Please go ahead and subscribe as we dive into today's topic. Shout out to all my retaining subscribers. You guys are the ish, you guys are the coco. I appreciate you guys for all the love and support. So today we're going to be talking about Brenda Bia, who is Cameroon's first daughter. That's the daughter to our president, Paul Bia. So today is Bree's birthday and Bree just turned 24. The little girl is growing and maturing right before our eyes. So happy birthday to you Brenda Bia as you turn 24. And we're equally going to be discussing the second phase of this gist. <laughs> you guys already know me by now. I'm not making this video to wish her happy birthday alone. I mean, is that when <laughs> there's more tea coming? Subscribe and stay tuned. Yes, so welcome, welcome, lovely people, welcome everybody, my dear people. Ha! Huh? So our little Brie of yesterday, or as she turns older, as she turns 24 today, she's already feeling older and wiser and better. So she feels like she has more wisdom and she's mentally prepared to start a family. So Brie took to her Facebook page and wrote this message: "J'aimerais déjà fonder ma famille avec mon petit mari. Le reste ne m'intéresse pas." So that message is in French, and the translation is: "I would love to form my family with my little husband." Ben, the rest doesn't affect me at all like nothing else matters to me right now so brenda is really having all these maternal feelings and she's feeling like she's ready to start a family she's ready to be a mom it didn't only end there my people she took to twitter and wrote the same message that it's time for me to become a mom i feel like i need to become a mom very soon and there's nothing my future baby would do to make me love her any less so brenda is out here writing about all this i want to be a mom from facebook to twitter and everywhere so you can see the headspace in which she is she's mentally prepared to become a mom which is very okay by the way she's a woman above 24 she's independent she's hardworking she has her money and she's doing well in life I mean she's an adult she's not a baby anymore if she's prepared to have a baby hey who are we to judge she can go ahead and have a baby the only thing is that Cameroonians are going to drag her for um, being the first daughter who is pregnant out of wedlock she's not married they'll be telling her what kind of example are you showing our daughters what kind of examples are you showing little girls in Cameroon blah 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 and all that stuff yam don yam no don but i think it's okay if she's mentally prepared to have a kid and she has the means why not she can go ahead and have a baby so after dropping this bombshell on us that she's ready to become a mom she went ahead to upload some pictures on instagram and the pictures spread like white fire her pictures have sparked a lot of controversy on the internet today huh brie is this you in the picture she's looking bloated she's looking fat she's already looking pregnant too so this small picky when i see and so she get long sense very badly so maybe she's dropping all these clues here telling us i want to start a family i would love to be pregnant all these clues because she's already pregnant so maybe she's dropping all these clues to warn us before time so we can anticipate you know Cameroonians said that they are not ready for, for news for some kind of news sometimes so maybe she's preparing them mentally before she drops the final bombshell that hey guys I'm already pregnant because they, when she dropped these pictures everybody was looking at Bren are you this so the way she was looking fat and chubby in the pictures the way she was wearing oversized clothes and looking at her tummy and Cameroonians are always speculating today that this little girl is pregnant and she's trying to play us small nonsense she's trying to like make people to anticipate without even knowing so that's the speculation that's going on between Cameroonians today that Brenda Bia yeah, is pregnant that's the latest on the ground people are speculating that our little sis has turned 24 and she's pregnant and her father is going to have a heart attack before time so that's news number one and now we're going to go to point number two still under breeze news so the second point that makes me speculate that brenda bia is pregnant is the fact that she got herself a little pet she went and adopted a little pet cat so she got a kitten for herself that's her little baby that she's taking care of many ladies will do this when they have like maternal instincts when you begin to have maternal instincts there's a certain age that a woman gets to you begin to feel like okay i feel like i want a baby it happens to every woman or most women sometimes you get to a particular age you start feeling like okay i want to have a baby and the way she's manifesting her is by getting her little cat her little pet baby and the baby's all over her um, instagram all over her snapchat and she calls it baby all the time even her birthday cake today she was sharing it with her cat so these are maternal 
maternal instincts being displayed right in front of us she's feeling like she wants to become a mom and she's practicing on her cat because she may be pregnant and she's practicing because in the next couple of months a baby will be here so that's my second theory that's the second reason why i think brenda Bia is pregnant her maternal instincts are kicking in and she's out here petting and getting pet kittens and taking care of them and making all this mother mother lovely stuff with their kitten so moving on to the next just about brenda Bia, she was equally asked brenda how come you don't go to cameroon frequently what's your problem with cameroon how come you don't go back home all the time so brenda responded and she said and that is why i decided to stay away from cameroon a while i was traumatized made a paria for having a sickness i love my country that's cameroon don't get me wrong but that is the main reason i can't get behind the mentality people have there so the reason why brenda Bia doesn't visit cameroon as much as she would love to is because of the mentality according to her the mentality that cameroonians have they judge her they insult her for her eyes you guys know brie has thyroid disease that's how her eyes are always fat it's because of the thyroid disease and lately she was trying to get medical treatment she was trying to get surgery to remove her thyroid so she's trying to go through that whole procedure of taking out her thyroid but for the mean for the meantime she's having this thyroid disease and cameroonians would never allow her to hear the last of it they keep laughing every day they keep insulting her and all that stuff so she says it makes her have anxiety and that's why she doesn't go to cameroon as much as she would love to the mentality of people back home according to her it's um one of the reasons why she wouldn't go home as much as she would love to so the next part of her gist is the fact that brenda Bia, being the daughter of a man whom so many people love to hate she is the dot boo 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 can i complete my video boo all right so um the next part of her gist is the fact that brenda bia is the daughter of a man which so many people love to hate uh, you know so many people don't love her dad and sometimes they blur the lines they carry the hatred they have for the dad they carry the discontentment or uh, the whatever feelings they have for the dad and transfer on the little girl who has done nothing but just to be born into that family they transfer all the aggression on her and sometimes i really feel bad for her i mean if you see this lady she's going through a lot in her private life just because of the fact that she was born by this man so being the daughter of this man makes her life so complicated and people are always insulting her on the internet and then she came out to respond to them read to this way mom knows more so when you guys are insulting her all the time i love her replies her comments bags are always so sweet she always comes to address the haters so on this particular day her response was laughter when people were dragging her family she came and said y'all think inserting my family my dad hurts like it used to nah i've been hearing that for ages like there's nothing new that you guys can say to me i have led your opinions to take over my mind and even send me into anxiety never again you guys can say whatever you want to say about my dad my brothers my mom and me i don't care like you guys can say anything you want to say it doesn't move me anymore i've heard it so much at this point in time i've basically de i've basically developed a shield whatever you guys have seen i literally had a shield right now against you all and then she went ahead to say i am my own woman i am my own person i made decisions for myself i live my life for me if you guys have grudges with my dad take it out on him i am my own person separate me my persona from him he's a whole different person he has a whole different country he has a whole country on his shoulders to rule i am just a little girl living my life i mean i'm just a young girl living my best life so whatever beef you guys have with my dad just take it out on him and leave me alone and that's what she was saying essentially i am my own person responsible for my own choices responsible for my own decision so that was like, um, a direct jab at cameroon and so always transfer aggression from her dad to her she was telling them that i'm not responsible for anything my dad has done my only crime here is that i was born into the bia family and as a long as a young girl i can't do much to change that so we equally have a lot of cameroonian youth on the internet saying brenda no talk so there's so many things you can do you are not only a daughter you're a daughter of a president your voice is powerful in that country you can make change in so many domains look at the first daughter of congo the president of congo president denise sasungeso his daughter has an ngo where they are working to improve the rights of women in the country look at the first and um, daughter of of kenya Paul Kagami's daughter has an NGO too that she's working to improve the lives of young girls in Kenya. So there's so many things that presidential daughters across Africa are doing that you are not doing enough. Every day you're on the face, you're on Facebook fighting fire for fire when we insult you when you insult us back three. So Cambodians are they came back to comment that Bruno talks so there's so many things you can do as a first daughter. Maybe you're not seeing it, maybe you minimize minimize your power 
but you have so much power available in your hands if you want to change things in Cameroon you can do it your father will listen to you you are his daughter there's so many things we the youth want to say we cannot address him we don't have the privilege of meeting him but you are with him every day dining with him he's calling you every day on FaceTime you'll see him every day there's so many things you can tell him Papa on for Shangista Papa on pay this on pay. you can say so many things to your dad he's going to listen to you so Cameroonians are saying that she should not be saying that she's powerless about what her dad is doing she actually has the power to change so many things that are going on in the country so um with that i guess we'll come to the end of today's gist about brenda bia i'm going to do um <laughs> i'm going to round up now point number one um we're saying that it's possible that she's pregnant our first speculations are that she's pregnant based on her new pictures her new size the increase in body mass and the big um hiding hideous clothes she's wearing right now the, and all that stuff so Cameron's are speculating that she may be pregnant point number two brenda bia addresses some a couple of haters out here who are out here calling her names point number three brenda bia addresses the reason why she doesn't go to Cameroon as much as she would love to so um thank you guys so much for watching the video on that note we'll come to the end of today's video i remain your girl unana if it is your first time on this channel please don't go without subscribing i love you guys and i'll see you next time goodbye